third grade math lesson 9.2, we're going to compare fractions that have the same denominator. We can compare fractions that have denominators that are alike. We have 3 eighths and 5 eighths. They have the same denominator. They're alike. So we can compare these fractions. We can use fraction strips to model each fraction, then show their location on a number line. Here we want to compare 2 fifths and 3 fifths. They have the same denominator. They both have 5 for a denominator. On our number line, it's split up into fifths. We have 0 fifths, which is 0, 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, and 5 fifths, where the numerator and denominator are the same, so that is equal to 1 whole. The numerator tells us the number of equal parts to count, so that would be 1, 2 fifths, and for 3 fifths we'd go 1, 2, 3 fifths, and the denominator tells us the total number, number of equal parts in the whole, from 0, or 0 fifths, to 1, or 5 fifths. So this denominator is telling us the number line is split into fifths. We can locate 2 fifths on the number line, and we can lo locate 3 fifths on the number line, and we see that 3 fifths is farther to the right, it's closer to 1, so it's greater than 2 fifths. So here we can say 2 fifths is less than 3 fifths. Using fraction strips, or we can even use fraction circles, we can compare the fractions to see which one is longer. Here we have 4 eighths, we have 4 1 eighth pieces. Here we have 3 eighths, which is 3 1 eighth pieces. And we can see this one's longer, it's larger, isn't it? So this is greater than this one. 4 eighths is greater than 3 eighths. Using a fraction circle, we have 4 1 eighth pieces, like slices of a pie. Here we have 3 1 eighth pieces. 4 eighths is greater than 3 eighths. We can see this is more than this. It's greater. Emma and Tala are both planting square-shaped gardens. And both gardens are the same size, and both are made of four equal size squares. Two-fourths of Emma's squares will be green peppers, so that's two of the four squares, and one-fourth of Tala's squares will be green peppers, so that's only one of the four. So whose garden has more green peppers? And the greater fraction will have the larger amount of green peppers. Emma's has two of the four squares as green peppers, so that's two-fourths. Tala has one of the four squares, so that's one-fourth. And two-fourths is greater than one-fourth. We can see she's got more green peppers planted. We can also see, because the denominators are the same, that this numerator 2 is greater than that 1. So 2 fourths is greater than 1 fourth. Bob and Dave each have 6 gumballs. Bob has 3 red gumballs. Dave has 5 red gumballs. We can write a fraction to show the number of red gumballs they each have. Bob he has six gumballs, so we draw six circles for the gumballs. We know three of them are red, so we can color in three as red. He has three out of six gumballs that are red. He has three six that are red. Dave also has six gumballs. We know five are red, so we color in five red ones. He has five out of the six gumballs that are red. He has five six that are red. And they each have the same total number of gumballs. They each have six. So we can count the number of red gumballs to compare the fractions. We know that three is less than five, so three six is less than five six. And Dave has the greater fraction of red gumballs. We can use fraction strips and a number line to compare two eighths and seven eighths. Both of these fractions have the denominator 8. This means the whole is in 8 equal parts. We have 0 for 0 eighths. We have 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths, all the way up to 8 eighths. 
same numerator and denominator, that means we have all the eight parts, that's equal to one whole. We can see that two eighths is right here, and it's to the left of seven eighths. Here's seven eighths. This two eighths is closer to zero, so two eighths is smaller than the seven eighths. This seven eighths is to the right of that two eighths, so it's closer to eight eighths. It's closer to one whole. Using the fraction strips, we can see the difference. We can compare them. Here we have two one eighth pieces, that's two eighths. And here we have seven one eighth pieces, that's seven eighths. And we can see this is much greater, isn't it? We can see this is much less, this is smaller. Two eighths is less than seven eighths. Because the denominators are the same, we can look at their numerators to compare them. This is an eight and this is an eight. So we look at the numerator. The two is less than the seven. And we can switch it around. They both have a denominator eight. Seven is greater than two. We know that two is less than seven, so two eighths is less than seven eighths. We know seven is greater than two, so seven eighths is greater than two eighths. See how we moved the fraction, the seven eighths is now in the left position. Here it was over here, and now I put it first, and look what happened to the sign. It switched, didn't it? The sign is still open to the bigger fraction. When the seven eighths was on this side, the sign was open to the seven eighths, the bigger fraction. Then when we put the seven eighths on this side, the sign was still open to the bigger fraction. See that? Emma and Tala are decorating same size cakes. Emma puts pink icing on four fourths of her cake. Tala puts pink icing on one fourth of her cake, whose cake is covered with more pink icing. Let's circle the important numbers and underline the important words. It's important for us to know that Emma puts pink icing on four fourths and Tala puts pink icing on one fourth. It is important that they are both decorating the same size cakes also, but we're gonna compare four fourths and one fourth. We need to know whose cake is covered with more pink icing. So we need to compare fractions with the same denominator. They both have a four for a denominator. When the denominators are the same, the whole is divided into the same unit fractions. And we can look at the numerators to compare same size pieces. We have four fourths and one fourth. Four is greater than one, so four fourths is greater than one fourth. When the denominators are the same, the fraction with the greatest numerator has the greatest number of pieces. And that's a four and that's a one. We can use fraction strips. Here's four one-fourth pieces for four-fourths. Here's one one-fourth piece for one-fourth. We can see that that's a lot more than that one. We can think of a fraction that is less than another fraction by using the same denominator and making the numerator smaller than the given fraction. We need a fraction that's less than, that's smaller, than five sevenths. So what we can do is use the same denominator seven right here. Then for the numerator, we think of a number that's smaller, that's less than five. So we could use four, three, two, one, zero. Any of those would fit here and be less than five sevenths. We can put a four here. Four is less than five, so that would work. But we could use three sevenths, two sevenths, one seventh, zero sevenths, any number for the numerator that would be less than five would work. We can do it for this one. The denominator is a five, so we can make our fraction have a denominator that's a five. And because it has to be less than three-fifths, the numerator has to be a number that's less than three. So we could put two-fifths, we could put one-fifth or zero-fifths there, and it would be still be true. And we can think of a fraction that is greater than another fraction by using the same denominator and making the numerator larger, greater than the given fraction. 
Here, we're supposed to have a fraction that is greater than 4 tenths. We use the same denominator, 10. And we think of a number for the numerator that would be greater than a 4. Well, 5 is greater than 4, isn't it? We can put any number here that is greater than 4. So we could have 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 9 tenths, 10 tenths, because those are all greater than 4 for the numerator. And what about this one? We have a 6 for a denominator. We need to come up with a fraction that is greater than 2 6. We put our 6 here, so we have the same denominator. We need to think of a numerator that would be greater than 2. Well, I know 3 is greater than 2, so we could put a 3 here. But we could also put 4, 6, 5, 6, and 6, 6. That would be greater than 2, 6. That way, the numerator would be greater on this side than this side. See? That's when they have the same denominator. We have six comparison problems here. Which of these comparisons are correct? So we need to find the ones that make sense and are correct. So let's take a look here. It's got a 4 for a denominator, and so does this one. So we can compare them easily because they have the same denominator. It's saying that 3 fourths is greater than 1 fourth. They have the same denominator, so let's look at the numerators. 3 is greater than 1. Yeah, that's true. So this one is correct. That's a correct one. What about this one? We have the same denominator, 2, and it's saying that 0 halves, that's how we would read it, 0 halves is less than 1 half. Well, let's look at the numerators. They have the same denominator. 0 is less than 1. Yes, that's true. So that's also a correct comparison. Here, they both have 6 for a denominator, and it's saying that 4, 6 is greater than 5, 6. Same denominator, let's look at the numerators. 4 is greater than 5? No, that's not true. And it's telling us to correct the symbols that are wrong. What symbol should go there? What should we do to this symbol to make this correct? Well, it needs to be turned around, doesn't it? We need to take this symbol away and say that 4, 6 is less than 5, 6. Now that's correct, isn't it? Now we can include this with a correct one, because we fixed it. Look at this one. 2 ninths is equal to 4 ninths. They both have 9 for a denominator. So let's look at the numerators. Is 2 equal to 4? No, 2 isn't equal to 4. 2 is equal to 2, right? So that's not a correct symbol. So which symbol should go here? Let's get rid of this equal symbol that's wrong. We look at the numerators, 2 is less than 4. We should have a less than symbol here. 2 ninths is less than 4 ninths. Now that one's correct. Here we have 5 eighths is greater than 3 eighths. They both have 8 for a denominator, so let's look at the numerators. 5 is greater than 3? Yes, that's true. So we can circle that one. That one's already true. And look at this one. 2 thirds is equal to 2 thirds. They both have the same denominator. They both have the same numerator. So yes, they are equal to each other. 2 is equal to 2. So that one is correct. When the instructions tell us to write this symbol, this symbol, or equal to, it means we need to choose one of these three symbols. This one, this one, or this one. We have one, two, three symbols to choose from to make the comparison correct. Three-fourths compared to two-fourths, they have the same denominator, four. So let's look at the numerator. Three is, it's greater than two, isn't it? So it should be this one. Three-fourths is greater than two-fourths. What about over here? They both have a denominator 6, and the numerators, we have a 1 and a 3. So is 1 less than, greater than, or equal to 3? If you said less than, you're right. 1 6 is less than 3 6. 
So we can compare fractions with the same denominator by using fraction strips or fraction circles. We can also use a number line and locate which one is closer to zero or which one's closer to one whole. But we can also compare fractions that have the same denominator by looking at their numerators to see which numerator is less than, greater than the other one. Keep trying. I'm really proud of you, and I hope I'll see you for the next lesson. Bye.